welcome, welcome. Come on in and join me. Change it up a little bit, shift the energy. Start to tune in to what the week has for you. What is ahead? Come on in and join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit Show, the energy focus where I come on live, talk about the cosmos, talk about the energy of what is it in for, there for you and what is in store for the week. We look at the cards as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Terry. Hey, Paul. So we do have lots to talk about. Thankfully, Saturday, Mercury retrograde started to move out. Yay. Maybe you're noticing it. What have you felt? I know for myself, it's like, okay, it's moving out, yet we still have another week or two before we're really going to feel it. So you might actually feel a little bit like maybe even like overwhelm or excitement or nervousness. Like I got all this stuff to do. I'm finally going to do it. But yet you can't like kind of get it all out of here, figure out how to get it all done. So that's kind of the work that we're in right now. The energy of like, okay, it's going to go forward. Mercury's going to get out of here. I'm going to bring my projects forward, but yet not quite clear enough to move out. So allow yourself to really kind of know that it's okay Take a breath. You've got lots of time to get it out. Spring isn't here yet, so calm down, but know that you can start to really use the energy of Pisces, which has just come in, which is our intuitive energy. Like you can really tune in. What is your gut telling you? What are you ready to bring out into the world as we start to move into that last part of winter and open up to the spring? So we did move into that Pisces energy last week. We are shifting out of so much of that Aquarius. I like the Aquarius energy. I like the new mindset, but... Sometimes it can be sometimes it can be so vast that we feel a little bit stretched, a little bit out there. But now what we do is we actually harness that energy. All of that expansion, all of that mindset work you've been doing, hopefully, remembering you're the source of your creator, you're the part of the light that is divine in you so that you can open it up and bring it out into the world. That's what you want to do. So take it easy on yourself. Allow the Pisces energy of really going in. It's that deep soul energy. We actually talked about it on the podcast this week. We did. We talked about how the imprints of your soul can keep you stuck. And when you start to really work with that, you can uncover what it is and help you to move forward. I did an Akashic, an Akashic meditation, let's call it, helping you to really go in and learn how to really open up to the higher realms to access that deep soul energy, because that's where we are right now in the cosmos. Pisces is all about the wisdom of your soul. How can you use what you know to take it out into the world? It's an opportunity for you to look deep and say, am I doing my soul's work? Am I living my purpose? Or am I just kind of getting along and feeling really frustrated with my life? Those are the questions to be asking right now. Now, we also have the energy of moving into a full moon coming up on Friday. It's in Virgo. Virgo is service. Virgo is going to ask you to really, again, take that same energy of your soul and ask, am I serving mankind? It's going to expand it. And that's what we do on full moons. We expand the light. You expand that light that is within you, you open up. Now, for some of us, the energy of the emotions during a full moon can get a little great. All right. So that's where you do need to be careful. And we're kind of setting that up this week. Right now we have <clears throat> the moon in Cancer. Cancer's that sensitivity, Cancer's that empath, Cancer's that intuitive as well. So we're already kind of building some of that energy. So Monday, Tuesday, you might notice you're super sensitive, you're feeling this, this, like back and forth, the, the, the mercury moving out, not yet completely forward, so you may even feel that as well. Wednesday, we're going to start to feel that Leo energy. All right, now that is going to help us feel a little bit more of that direct motion going forward. Leo is like getting out there. Leo's the courage to take the next step. Leo's like shine your bright light, right? That's the energy we'll have as we move into the middle of the week. And then by the time we come into that full moon, we are going to feel ourselves more grounded, more with the earth, and actually better and more able to bring the direction more forward with your life. Virgo does ask you to really check in and make sure you're living that worth. Now, for some people, when you're living your purpose, 
It's like what you love and what you do. And sometimes you can think, am I really doing what I'm supposed to be doing? How is it for you? Have you ever noticed that? Like things that you love, you kind of take for granted. But that is your purpose and that is the way in which you can serve. So don't let yourself be fooled by that. Stay in that higher vibration of, yes, this is my work. Yes, this is what I want to do. And open up to that great lightness that is coming in. Now, I love Pisces energy. And I love the season of Pisces because guess what? That means spring is coming. And we're starting to feel the energy of kind of that emergence starting to happen. When are we going deep? We're all tired of the cold, right? Now it's like, okay, give us the warmth of our soul to open up, to allow us to bring forward all that we've been dreaming from the winter. Because Pisces season goes right into that spring season. So there is hope, there is renewal, there is rebirth. So a lot of this energy of this full moon is really shining that light on you. How is it feeling for you? Are you noticing that energy of the retrograde moving out? I know we're all glad. Give me a thumbs up for that one, right? But are you starting to feel that you know how to trust your intuition to take you forward? All right, and that's really what we want to ask you to do right now is really guide yourself inward so that you can can open up to that direction in the path within your own life. It's gonna be a great week. We're gonna to start to feel less of that anxiousness of the Mercury retrograde. We're going to start to feel more direct and more forward motion with what we wanna do as we come out of this season and open up to the full moon and out of the season and open up to the spring. So there is a lot of hope coming forward, all right? Don't let yourself get too overwhelmed with that fullness of the emotional body. As again, we start out with the Cancer Moon Monday, Tuesday. By the end of the week, we've got the light of the moon full. So make sure that you take the time to ground your energy to go in deep because Pisces is pulling us in deep. There's no need to fight it. No need to really aggravate yourself with it. Some of the stones that I like to use right now, some of my favorite, Angelite, they're really beautiful. They're blue. They call in the energy of the angels. They help you really... Find that ease and effortlessness. I was going to say the joy, because the, the joy of the angels, they really make you feel like, ah, oh, love. So really, these are angelites, and then one of my favorite is the labradorites. Labradorites are great for this time of year because they have that flash, and that's that Pisces, that new direction. That's how I use them in my jewelry, new direction. And that's what this year, this season right now is about, and that's what we are coming out of the winter into the spring, another month. I know I'm rushing it a little bit, but Pisces helps us to do that by going deeper one more time, opening up as we move forward and direct with all this energy that is shifting. We are definitely shifting. All right, friends, you like that too? Yeah, definitely. Hey, Diane, how are you? So let me know how you're feeling. How has the retrograde been affecting you? And did you notice a shift this weekend? We were out today walking around. It was beautiful. We saw the red of the light coming in. So we're starting to feel a little bit too like, okay, it is time to make some shifts and changes in what we're doing. But I love working with the soul energy. And if you've never had an Akashic reading, I'm offering readings for you. I'll guide you through, help you work with the energy. It's quite fascinating. And some of my most favorite work to do when I work with the soul, when I look at what is blocking you, what did you come in with your contracts? Where are you being triggered? And where are you not able to move forward? And right now, again, I know I've said it, but as we come out of that winter dream visioning time, we want to have the ways to set the energy out for the spring. Check it out. It's a fun podcast. I really, it really was a lot of fun to offer that meditation to help you find the ways in which you are stuck in your own life. So working with the Pisces energy right now is a really great way to do that. And the way in which the moon opens up to the consciousness with Leo in the middle of the week, and then Virgo, which is service for mankind. So I ask you, where are you finding yourself in service to mankind? Where are you raising your vibration? Remembering you are the source of your own light. So let's take a moment and align our energies with that thought in mind. You are the source of your own light. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And just starting to call in your energy from the week. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. Presencing your own spirit right now. Just feeling that presence of your spirit all the way around you. Connecting with the greater source, God, creator. And connecting with all the spiritual beings, your helpers, the Reiki masters, the angels, the elements. And feel this connection all around you. 
supporting you, guiding you. Know that you are known. Know that you are part of the consciousness right now. Your light makes a difference. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Yes, come to the light right now. Allow yourself to release the emotions. Take a few more breaths. Yes. Babe, thank you for that reminder. We do need so many breaths. And just take a moment now as we look to the teachings of the medicine wheel and feel that connection with Mother Earth direction of the north we're moving towards the east now starting to feel that shift towards spring but we honor the dreams and the visions the deepness of our soul right now calling in to the north the east the south the west above you below you right into the very center calling into your spirit setting an intention for this week See that intention for you. Hear, feel, know. As I call in from the higher realms, gamma consciousness, this consciousness of light to fill up your body with your intention energy, raising the vibrations, the elevated emotions for these intentions. Let this gamma consciousness just rush through you, surround you, and horizontally opening it out through your auric field the joy, the peace. Feel your light shine. Let go of the excess emotions, sending them away. Just be the light. Be in the light, be the light. Calling in the golden colors from the higher harmonics. Now feel that golden light shining through you and allowing it to guide you this week. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. And just send that energy out, this golden light all around you. Feel that gamma consciousness. It's a nice, beautiful, high vibration light. One more deep breath. And now exhale the energy all the way down, connecting with Mother Earth. Feel yourself grounding roots into the earth, setting that energy for your week. And as you're ready, releasing the attachment and just let it radiate out there for you. You are the source of your own light. You are your divine source. All right. As we look to the cards for the week, drawing from the wild unknown this week, I've got the two of pentacles that comes up first. However, it was reversed. So it's kind of perfect for this because really this card is about balance. All right, balance in work, balance in life, balance in life, balance in love. Where is that balance for you? Now, because it's upside down means that we do need to pay more attention to that. There is something out of balance right now, which makes perfect sense. Coming out of the retrograde, trying to let that motion go forward, trying to understand where we are, coming out of the energy of winter. So it's a good time to start to find some balance into your life. I know for me, I got overwhelmed today because thinking, okay, now here comes spring, my yard, my garden, my grass is going to grow. Chill, chill. One day at a time, find the balance for you. There will be transformation coming. All right, great card for all of us to think about as we move through this week, start to noticing the shifting. All right, card number one is the three of wands. Love this card. It's got Pisces energy all in it. It's about really the visioning, putting it together, but going deeper. Go right into that rainbow. Go deeper. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition for the work that you want to see come forward out of all the dreams and visions you've been doing this winter. Great card. Second card is another good Pisces card, Son of Cups. This is all about having that sensitivity, going in, having the knowing, really being, having that energy of like, you know, again, it's trusting the gut, but that sensitivity with what you're doing. All right, great time right now because that's what we want to be. We want to be in that intuitive, not the mind, especially all you generators. Been reading about human design lately. How many people know about human design? Got some podcast interviews coming up about it. But this is where we want to be right now, especially with that Pisces energy. And I love this card, Ten of Cups. 
Ten of Cups is like happiness, joy, fulfillment. So notice for you, hasn't been the easiest winter, I know, but notice for you this season and this week especially, where can you find the happiness and the joy? All right, now sometimes we have to go into the gratitude as well. All right, tens are about things coming to completion, and this is of the emotional energy. So where can you look at the work you've been doing with your heart, with your love, and put all of this together, because that is going to help you find the balance as you seek going through this week, all right? So just putting it all together, balance is really important as we move through this week. Deeper into the work that you're doing, use your intuition, trust your gut, have the sensitivity, have the innocence to be able to trust the energy that comes in. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. This is a joy and happiness card. Things are connecting. There's the rainbows in your life. Don't forget gratitude. Really important to appreciate all the work that you're doing. And again, you want to find the balance to come in. So let me know how those cards resonate with you. Take a nice deep inhale. And let me know if you'd like a card. Let me know if you have any questions about the week ahead. Definitely check out the podcast. It's really great. If you want an Akashic reading, I do have it in my bio. But Akashic readings are part of my Empowered Spirit program. That's where I do a lot of private mentoring with you. We look at new spiritual contracts. And when we really do work with the Akashic Record and help you use the tools to really make changes and create new spiritual contracts. When's the last time you created a new spiritual contract? Definitely deep work, definitely life-changing. All right, let me know if you'd like a card. I'd love to draw one for you. All right, I see a few new faces here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're coming around to where we'd like to draw cards. If anybody would like a card, give me a thumbs up or give me a I'd like a card. How are you doing, Diane, up in New York? How's everything going? All right, give it a minute to catch up. All right, friends, I'll give you a card. Check out the podcast. It was a lot of fun to do. And if you've never had a meditation working in the Koshuk Records, it's really amazing what you will uncover. All right, friends, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is a uh, Sevens are about our um, spiritual practice. Cups is our emotions. Sometimes we can feel like we have too much going on. All right, let me know if you feel that way. Too much going on. There is something here that's drawing your attention. See how one cup is upside down? and how it's between the sun and the moon. So there is something that needs a little more attention. Don't feel so scattered all over the place. I think this is kind of where we are with the energy we've been talking about, like all the retrograde, and now it's starting to shift. We're coming out of winter, so chill. Take a breath, slow down, and really go in and examine where do I need to put my attention the most, all right? Hi, Terry, how are you? Welcome. Terry, we got the mother of cups. So this is that nurturing energy, especially for yourself. All right, maybe you've been a little too busy too, and maybe the retrograde energy and now it's starting to turn around has gotten you a little bit, you know, out of sorts as well. But this is the time to really nurture yourself, use your intuition, bring those psychic hits out, right? You see all that energy there and really start to kind of pull it into you. Use these next few weeks, the last part of winter to really ask yourself, what do I need to nurture within me? All right, really important because when you're nurtured, we know this, everybody else around you will feel the same. But this also brings in that intuition. Bring those hits, like take a moment. What are your signs? What are your symbols coming for? Use your intuitive hits to help you understand how you can even nurture yourself even more. Great card. I love that card. It gives me permission to take extra bubble baths, right? And to sit in meditation at night for sure. All right, let me know how that aligns with you. See, boy, Dave. Dave, welcome. Love a card too. Time permitting. We got time. All right. This is an interesting card and I want to know what you have to say about this. A seven of swords. So this card is a lot about the mind, but the interesting thing about this card is it's a secretive card. All right. There's a secret going on. Now here, you see the sly, sly fox is sitting on one of the swords. So what are you telling yourself? What are you being secretive about? Now, the other way to look at this is someone keeping a secret for you. So let me know which way you think it is for you, all right? Is there secrets being kept or are you keeping secrets? And if it is you keeping secrets, no, careful, secrets always come out, right? So careful, careful, careful. Check into the mind, 
Check in and see what you're telling yourself or what others are saying as well. All right, let me know how you feel about that. Clear it up. Get rid of any excess mind chatter going on. Terry, you're welcome. Good to see you. Come find us on Clubhouse. We're going to be on Clubhouse Monday. If you need an invite, let me know. Monday, we're going to be talking with Tina Conroy about Reiki. We're going to start Monday discussions on Reiki, how Reiki can help you in your life. We had a great class this weekend, ended up having an in-person class. It was really personal and really fun. It's been so long to have those impersonal classes, those in-person classes. But Monday on Clubhouse, 11 Central, 12 Eastern. Anyway, 11 o'clock on Clubhouse. Come join us and introduce yourself. We're going to be introducing everyone that comes in just to kind of talk about how you use Reiki in your life. Has it helped you get through COVID? I know I talked about it last week on the podcast about COVID and the vaccine. All right, let me know what you think. Come join us. Put together the Reiki Association of the Southeast. If you're in the South and you practice Reiki, Come join us. We've got a lot of great things going on. We're going to start doing some outreach. I'm so excited about that as well. All right. I think all those that wanted cards have gotten a card. Have a standing room at 12 Eastern. What day, Terry? All right, guys. So let's just take a moment. Return to the energy of being in that consciousness of light. Feel the golden light coming in. Return to your intention for this week. Take a deep breath. And just send it out into the universe. Let it guide you as you move through this week. You are the source of your own creation. Inhaling and exhaling. Thanks again for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste. Namaste.